Yo, what's going on guys? Nasher here, back with another video, and today I have a product that can potentially change your life. If you're watching my videos, there's probably a good chance that you have dreams of being in the NHL someday. You want to be the next Crosby, Ovi, McDavid. What if I told you that you could? with what's inside this box. Welcome to episode number one of Is It Trash? We're gonna be taking a look at weird, strange, unique hockey products and seeing if they're actually worth buying or if it belongs in the trash can. Hockey technology is constantly advancing. We're getting better skates, lighter sticks, crazy training things. But you know what we're not getting? Skate guards. Skate guards have remained the same for the last 30 years. All it is is some piece of fabric with a harder plastic at the bottom, and pretty much all skate guards are exactly the same. So let's get this out of here and take a look at what the future, or, or maybe the past, of skate guard technology is. Little disclaimer, this is not a sponsored video, as you can imagine. I bought the product myself. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you guys and let you know what I think. Take a look at this. Warning, the product you're about to see will help you score. Yeah, I'm gonna pause it right there. You're gonna tell me that a skate guard somehow helps you score? Are we wearing these out on the ice or what? Yeah, that's right. Today we're taking a look at the Roller Guard Hockey Rollerblade Skate Guard. Literally, you put these things on your skates and it allows you to just skate around the rink, get around on the cement, hop in your car, get out of your car, and you're ready to go straight onto the ice. This is the most insane thing I have ever seen. Not only that, but believe it or not, this thing actually came out over 10 years ago, as you can probably tell by the video, the quality, and the editing and everything. But for some reason, I have never seen anyone use it. I've never even heard of it. So we're gonna be taking a full look at it today. The Roller Guard Skate Guards. So it looks like you just go pick your color, toss it on your skate, and you are good to go. So I am gonna give these a try. I have them in this box right here, and we will see, maybe this is the future of hockey skate guards. If that commercial isn't enough for you, we have past NHLers out here endorsing this thing. We got Chris Chelios, listen to him. Uh, hi, I'm Chris Chelios from the Detroit Red Wings. I've been playing professional hockey for 25 years. This is, looks like a great product. Uh, could be the new thing that uh, kids, adults could all enjoy. Um, Great way of training, easy way. Hi, this is Chris Chelios. Roll ahead, don't get left behind. You can tell he's super passionate about this product. This is, looks like a great product. Uh, he's definitely not getting paid at all to say what he's saying. All right, enough is enough. They clearly have a big marketing budget, but will the product hold up to how it's talked about? Let's go ahead and pop this box open and see what's inside. All right, it's like Christmas morning all over again. We have the roller guard skate cards. You know what, looking at the box, it actually doesn't look that bad. It says wear your skates on and off the ice, one size fits all and works well with all hockey skates. I thought it looked stupid to start, but actually after reading the back here, it doesn't look that bad. They've got some fancy stuff in here that hopefully will make this work well. Box has been opened, the roller guards are here, and I gotta say, my first impression is this is a lot sturdier than I thought it was. I thought I was gonna step on these things and they were gonna instantly snap. But no, this is like a really, really tough plastic. The wheels seem nice, the bearings seem good. Like, I'm not saying these could replace regular roller blades, but we're definitely gonna test them out. One weird thing is they're actually bolted in here though, so I have to use like an Allen wrench to get these bolts out, it's unreal. We don't have enough room on the desk, so I'm gonna bring it down here and show you guys kind of the unboxing experience I guess or the unbolting experience and hopefully we will get to see what these things are all about this is it this is gonna help you score goals somehow honestly the quality doesn't look bad at all like I want to tear this thing apart but the quality is actually pretty solid from the looks of it also they even included a little break right here so that when you're going too fast you just lift the leg up brake goes down and it'll hopefully stop you from moving I am curious it says one size fits all but it looks like it made it to be a Adjusted, so I made it to like take these wheels, move them back, scoop all this stuff back a couple rows to make my skate fit. But let me try it out. Okay, yeah, this definitely is not gonna fit. As you can see, there's a couple inches at the end here, so we literally need to scoot the wheel back a couple rows, scoot the brake to the end, and then maybe it'll fit. Honestly, I'm kind of having my doubts. It's moments like these when you really start to question 
what exactly it is you're doing with your life. Now we have enough room to at least put the skate in, but I don't think we're gonna have enough room for a break back here. Okay, actually this, the skate is pretty snug on there. Now we just need to attach the back wheels and we should be good to go for a rip. All right, skate number one, actually not looking bad. As you can see, I think the one size fits all may only apply to, you know, younger kids. They don't expect any adults to go out and buy this thing. I, I suggest every kid and or adults should try these, or adults should try these. Because I literally had to move the wheel all the way to the end to give room for this thing to hold the skate in place. So it's looking like we're not gonna be able to use the brake on this one. Well, I guess now we have nothing left to do but to try them out. So I'm gonna go out to the roller rink and do some stick handling, shooting, and skating, and see if maybe this is the way to go. Maybe this will help you warm up, get you used to your skates, and have you perform better on the ice. We'll see you out there, peace. All right, here we are, we are at the roller rink. I have my roller guards ready to go. I'm not gonna lie, I have never skated on one of these four blade setup, the, the two and the two. It's like back in the day at the old roller rinks, kids used to use these, but I never did. I was always the cool, hmm, this is awkward. <laughs> never did, I was always the cool. So first things first, you probably should be careful when putting them on. I think once we get them on and I'm like standing up, It'll be better, or I'll just step right on my blades. <laughs> That's fine too. Ruin your skates. All right, blades are on officially now. We'll see if they actually stay, or if I end up just completely scraping my blades. But I think they're, I think they're all right. Gosh, dude, the, the four blade setup is absolutely brutal. Like you cannot, you can't even turn it off. Like you literally just have to scrape them right until they move. From my understanding though, it's not really meant to be like a skate simulation. It's meant to be more, you get your feet in your skates, you get warmed up, you're able to stick handle around and actually have the feel of being in skates. And I think it does sort of do that. Oh. All right, so I gotta get warmed up in these things first. I'm gonna do some figure. Dude, how many planes are there? <laughs> so I'm gonna do a little warm up here. We're gonna do uh, circles and do some figure eights around the rink. We'll see how these hold up. Both of them came off. Oh no. Oh man. Okay. Gotta say, the first skate, not great. Definitely messing up the blades a little bit here today, boys. I think I'm too fast for the skates. That's the only thing. I was. You see how much I was flying up the ice there? It's a rough skate. So I'm gonna go grab a ball. We'll try this one more time. If I fall one more time, I'm done though. These are going in the trash can. Dude, you literally can't get a stride with the, the four blade setup. It's so bad. I think I'm done with skating for the day. These are uh, not working out quite as well as expected. We're gonna stick to some stick handling to see if it at least serves its purpose in that way. I literally feel like my blade is just touching the ground. You're gonna have no edge next time you're on the ice. Yeah, I'm definitely getting sharpened. Better now, I kinda like it, I don't know. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I saved that. Try backwards. Everybody, 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 everybody. Backwards. This is a risk. Oh, 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 oh gosh. Okay, no, we're done, we're going quick. Well, thanks to the roller guards, I think I have completely destroyed my blades. Definitely gonna have to get a sharpening before the next game. So with that, I think it's time to call it quits. Uh, and then we'll do our extensive review and kind of summarize, is it trash? Or does it belong in the hockey bag?
find out soon. All right, so these are the roller guard skate guards. They're meant to allow you to kind of move around the rink or go directly from your car to the ice rink. And uh, they definitely do not protect your skates, as you can see by this little video. Like I said earlier, the build quality actually is solid. It will protect your skates until you start moving. Once you get moving on these things, especially trying to even go like 25%, the blade starts to bounce around a little bit. Once I lifted my leg, this came off and pretty much my bare blade just went right across the cement. So that being said, these were 60 bucks, and for $60, I'm not finding a ton of use out of these. Obviously, it's kind of a gimmick and kind of a fun little thing you can mess around with, but you're better off just sticking to the normal, traditional skate guards because it'll get the job done, it'll protect your skates, and it'll be a lot safer. <laughs> well, that'll about do it for episode number one of Is It Trash? I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit it with a like. Also, I wanna hear from you guys. Do you know any weird, strange, unique hockey products? Put a comment down below and I'll check them out. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace. Definitely trash.